the 14, or uh, yeah, from the 14 yard line. Third down and goal. Witte back to pass, blitz coming. Got a man complete at the goal line. Touchdown, Rebels. That is Evan O'Brien, the tight end, <laughs> making the reception. And just like that, Evan, who was hurt earlier in the game, scores the touchdown to make it 21 to 20 with a PAT on its way. A PAT that could tie this up with 2.37 left. First year kicker, number 18, Jackson Bridges, and a timeout taken by Pineville. You don't want to rush this. You don't want to be called for delay a game. We'll keep it here as we go to the instant replay. Watch this with Evan O'Brien releasing off the right side. He's wide open at the two and then takes it into the end zone. You got to love it for the senior who was actually an offensive lineman coming into this season. <laughs> they moved him to tight end. And uh, that's another family, Nathan, that's been so uh, involved at Jim Deggie's uh, coming every week with uh, Evan O'Brien, his mom and dad, and, uh, you know, not just when he was the guest on the show, but uh, doing it all, coming just about every week, and I uh, love that uh, commitment. So now the Rebels are going, going for, for two. two. Rebels are going for two. Tylen Birch with Jalen Witte going for two are the Rebels. Snap to Witte. Witte's rolling out. Witte's looking. Witte's firing. Got a man there. Caught for the two-point conversion. The Rebels take the lead 22 to 21. We're going to have taunting or excessive celebration at the end. Or I don't know what, who it's going to be against. A flag at the end, but what a huge play. The Rebels with the score and the two-point conversion. And uh, we will keep it here as the white hat, the two-point conversion is good. Dead ball, unsportsmanlike conduct against Washita. Oh. 